everyone welcome back to my channel Taylor May creations and today we're learning how to make stickers slash labels to put on different items around the house so if you want to watch how I do this stay tuned to this video all right y'all so we're gonna jump right into it and you want to open up your design space and as I stated earlier we're gonna be making the stickers for the planners and I'm going to show you how it's basically the same way you can use these stickers to put on your planners label your jars around your house storage bins books notebooks anything that you um mailing off your um shipping off your business you can make business labels this way it's just a basic overview of how to make stickers using your Cricut and using the Cricut design space. Okay, so I already have a, some of my stickers pulled up here so that this video won't be so long. But I am going to go through and show you how I made the ones that I made from just using the shapes and the text that's already inside Cricut design space. All right. So. First off, these, the ones, the pictures, these are PNG files, just images that I bought from Etsy, from different designers on Etsy, okay? This one I created with the shape, and I'm going to show you how I did it. I created this one with using the shapes from the Cricut um, Access store. And I also created part of this one, the circle behind it, this one, because I just had the words. So I had to put a circle behind it in order to create the sticker. And I also created these. All right. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I created this one using one of the free shapes from the images that we find. So go to images. You want to type in free. Go. So I chose this image, and I all you do is insert the image onto your canvas. And as you can see, I changed the color to the color that fit the bottle, the jar that I'm going to be putting it on. All right. So to do that, to resize it, you know you can unlock the lock and go ahead and resize it or you can come up here to size and put in the size that you want I usually do three for this one 3.5 by 3.5 and go ahead and lock it all right and so to change the color I just come over here and click on each layer and you can change it to whatever color you like and for the text, you should say insert text. Choose the check text type that you're gonna choose and go ahead and type in whatever you want to type in for your label. Okay, I'm gonna put this in. I know this I'm gonna have to do some moving around. It's okay. Okay, that's good. So I'm going to move it over here and I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to go ahead and size it. All right, then you want to highlight everything, group it together. Okay, and then you want to flatten it, okay? So once you group it, you flatten it to make sure everything is together. Okay, and then it's going to come out as a printed cut. All right, so that's how I created the ones for the jar. And now this one, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it. And I'm going to go ahead and unflatten it because I had it flattened before. Alright, so I'm going to show you. This was the original image, the PNG file that I uploaded from some images that I bought from Etsy. 
but I wanted to use it, be able to use it on a sticker or a label. So all I did was go over here to shapes and I chose the shape that I wanted, which was a circle. And then you can come up here and change the color. And you can go to fill. Okay, let's print to fill the whole thing out. And then you can resize it. Bring your image over and then go to arrange and move it or send it to the front. And now you can highlight both of them. Align and center. Okay, and then keep it highlighted and go ahead and group it back together. Attach and flatten. Okay, so that's how I made that sticker. And I can delete this because I don't need it. Now for the days of the week, I pretty much... I'll show you how I did this one. So I went to the images, went back to the images that went to free and I just chose one of these and I inserted it. Of course, I'm gonna resize it down to size to fit inside my planner. I'm gonna go ahead and ungroup it I moved the text away because I wanted to use my own text. You can use that one if you like. Go ahead and enter the text. And I put, let's do Monday. Go ahead and move it over. And now we're going to resize it down to fit inside. All right, so... Let's go ahead and highlight it. I always forget to use this align button. They make it easy for me, but I'll be trying to. All right, so that's center. And if you want to, it looks like it um, has an offset, but Cricut doesn't have the offset option, but you can create it with like the simple shapes. So what I did was just duplicate that image again, change it to whatever color you want to change it to. Let's change it to black. Unlock it, make it bigger. Let's see. We want to send it to the back. And then we can work with it this way to make it look like it's an offset. Okay, so that's how I got it to look like it was an offset. And then you would group everything together, sort of this all together. All right. So that's how I made my days of the week. And I'm going to go in and just make some more little ones that I wanted to make. What we're going to do is go put it in the printer and then we're going to go and cut it out. Okay, so we're going to go over to the printer, load this into the printer, print it out, and then we're going to load our mat and cut it out. And it's going to say send to printer. Hit send to printer. Make sure you turn off the bleed. If you leave the bleed on, it's going to be a smear smeared mess it's just gonna smear and it's gonna look a mess 
So make sure you turn this bleed off, okay? See, it says the bleed extends the ink slightly beyond the border of the image to eliminate the white margin once the image is cut. You don't want that. It's going to have your images looking a mess, a blurry mess, okay? So select your printer and go ahead and send it to print. All right, it's going to say set material, and you want to hit select sticker paper. And then it's going to tell us to load our machine, and we're going to cut this out. All right, at this point, we have our paper loaded, and now we're just going to go ahead and load it and cut it out. Sometimes when I print them out, they do stick to the mat. You have to use the um, standard grip mat. But my standard grip mat is just all messed up. So I use the strong grip. But you don't want to do that. You want to use your standard grip mat. So I'm going to just have to be careful when I pull them up. So be sure when you cut yours out, use the standard grip mat. Not the strong grip. It's actually time for me to replace all of my mats. All right, so that's the stickers. And now these little jars, I wanted to show you. I was gonna, this is what I'm gonna put this one on. It was $3 and I bought it from the Target dollar spot. Three dollars, and I did this one earlier. Craft savings. I'm just gonna start a little savings jar and save my coins for my crafting supplies, separate from everything else. And for this one, I'm gonna put this in that. It's just the little jar that I have sitting on the side. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel this one back and that is cute i thought these jars was cute i should have bought more but i'll go back a later date and buy some more and you see how cute that is and you can use them to put whatever you want and you have a nice little sticker or a label for your jars and now on to my happy planner. So I create different stickers for each month. And since we're about to go into the month of March, I decided to create some stickers. All right, so I have some in here already, as you can see. I already put the days of the week up top and I'm just gonna add this because it's March 2020. And I know I have an appointment on the 24th. And it just makes it, because I'm a beginner um, planner. So it just makes it, gets me more motivated to use my planners instead of having them sitting to the side. I can do it up and make it look all cute. Let's see, I have a feel to on the 12th. And that's it, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make your stickers and labels. It's pretty easy, pretty simple using the printing cut with the Cricut.
And of course it can be done on the Silhouette Studio and the Cameo also. If I have any beginners that's new to the Silhouette Studio and the Cameo, and if you wanna want me to do a tutorial on how to make the stickers using that, leave a comment down below, okay? And I thank you guys for joining me. Please give this video a thumbs up. It just helps me so that I can continue to make great tutorials and put out great content for you guys, all right? So, and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time. Bye.